Hi, I'm Audrey Tong, Taiwan's digital minister. Really happy to share with friends around the world about our digital democracy. Now, it's rare to hear those two words mixing together because democracy is an ancient concept that goes back to the ancient Athens, but digital is much more recent. But in Taiwan, the internet and democracy began literally at the same year. To me, democracy means working with the people, not just for the people. And digital democracy is a way for us to transcend the time and space boundaries so people around the globe in different time zones can also make decisions together. In Taiwan, we countered the pandemic with no lockdown and countered the infodemic with no takedowns. If the technologies are controlled in the hands of a few, then people feel less and less empowered when it concerns issues of common interest, for example, rationing out masks, uh, tracing the contacts of infected people or distributing vaccines in a fair way. We need open innovations from around all the corners of our society and the world in order to make it fast, fair and fun. So a democracy that's fast, fair and fun need to scale using the help of digital technologies. In Taiwan, our first presidential election was in 1996. And that was also the year that the wild web became really popular in Taiwan. So internet and democracy in Taiwan are not two things, but rather one and the same thing, just like bubble and tea, that could be mixed together in any which way. Because in many ancient republics and democracies, people think of democracy as something that's fixed, like uploading three bits of information every person every four years called voting. But because in Taiwan, democratization takes place on the internet, so we have higher bandwidth of democracy, of participatory budgeting, of sandbox applications, presidential hackathon, citizens' initiatives, so on and so forth. I believe that bubble tea represents the spirit of open innovation. It could be white tapioca ball, black tapioca ball, it could be red tea, it could be any kind of tea really. Uh, but as long as they're mixed together, it gives rise to creativity and enjoyment around the world. And people can adapt this open innovation without fear of being sued uh, by patents or copyright or trademark losses. And that means that uh, uh, innovation is very easy to make from the front line to uh, empower people closest to the pain or to the thirst, as it were, uh, and people can make their own recipes and freely share it around the world. And that's the spirit of Taiwanese digital democracy. When I was a child, Taiwan was still under the martial law. And indeed, we relied on international correspondence in, for example, Hong Kong, to report the human rights violations during Taiwan's martial law era, and also to strategize on how to change Taiwan for the better. Now, fast forward to today, of course, we've been ranked as the most open and democratic society in our corner of the world. So it's our turn to provide this international stage for people, per perhaps in Hong Kong, perhaps now moved to Taiwan, to voice their concerns about the backsliding of democracy in their regions, about the worry that authoritarianism may take over, and strategize with people around the world to make sure that the democratic polities work together to advance, not just defend, democracy. As I said in the Oslo Freedom Forum, ring the bells that still can ring. Forget our perfect offering. There is a crack, a crack in everything, and that's how the light gets in. Thank <laughs> you.